Good morning student. Welcome back to social class. Today we are going to learn about the landforms unit 2 from geography part. In this lesson they had given the compile of landform which are produced by the work of the river, glacier, wind and sea waves etc. But in this session we are going to know about more detail on the landforms which are created by river. In the earlier class we have learned that the surface of the earth is not the same everywhere. The earth has an infinite variety of landforms such as uh, mountains, plateaus, plains etc. You know well these landforms are the result to process namely the endogenic process and the exogenic process. You know already the endogenic process leads to the upliftment and sinking of the earth's surface and also the exogenic process external process is a continuous wearing down and the rebuilding of land surface. Here you are going to learn a new term called gradation. The gradation is a process of leveling of islands through erosions and filling up the lowlands through deposition. The landscape is being continuously worn away by two processes, weathering and erosion. The process of erosion and deposition create different landforms on the surface of the earth. As I already told, Today we are going to see about the landform which are created by the river. You know already what is river. The water flowing from its source to river mouth along a definite course is called a river. The place of origin of the river is known as, as its source. The place where it joins a lake or a sea or an ocean is known as river mouth starting place we call it as source ending place we call it as river mouth generally the rivers are originate from the hill or a mountain that part we call it as the upper course in the upper course the running water in the river eroded the landscape which creates a steep sided valley like a letter v known as v-shaped valley from the valley it collects large amount of water falling of river water over the vertical step in the river bed is called waterfalls it is formed when the soft rocks are removed by erosion example kutchalam falls across the river chittar in tamil nadu do you know the highest waterfall is angel falls of venezuela in south america in upper course, we saw the river source and it creates the V-shaped valley by erosion and it forms the waterfalls. From the waterfalls, it's moved towards down to the lowland in the end of the upper course and it also creates the plunk pool. is a hollow feature at the base of the waterfall which is formed by cavitation and also the alluvial fan in the deposition of sediments occur at which the river enter a plain or a foothills. Now we are going to see the middle course of the river. As the river enters the plain, it twists and turns forming large bends known as meander. The term meander has been named on the basis of meander river of Asia Minor which is uh, present in Turkey, it flows through numerous curves and turns. Example for a meander in Tamil Nadu, the river Vela, which is present in Kadalu district. Due to continuous erosion and deposition along the sides of meander, the end of the meander loop comes closer and closer. In due course of time, the meander loop cuts off from the river and forms a cut-off lake and also called an oxbow lake. 
after some duration of time the oxybo lakes become very dry now we see the lower course of the river which we call it as plains at the times of the river overflow its banks this leads to flooding into the neighboring area as the river floods its deposit layer of fine soil and other material called sediments along its bank these lead to the formation of the flat fertile flood plain the raised deposition on the banks are called levees as the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into number of streams called distributaries in simple term we can say like uh, the stream that branches off and flows away from the main stream now the velocity of the river becomes very slow and the uh, distributaries form its own mouth the collection of sediments from all the mouths forms delta you know the delta is a very rich mineral content area because of the river deposition which is favor for the cultivation in india we can see the kaveri delta and gangetic delta these areas are more favorable for the cultivation here i stop this lesson in the next session uh, we will see the landforms which are created by the glacial action wind action sea waves etc i hope you all enjoyed and understood the new concept kindly go through the book back assignment in the forthcoming slide thank you till then signing off your with lakshmi ma'am